what's going on everybody? This is Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was kind of cool. Um, in the very beginning I was a little skeptic of it. But uh, anyway, it's one of these SOL escape bivvies. You may have seen them. Picture of the guy all snuggled in and everything else just looks toasty as all hell. And, uh, you know, Mylar has um, been used for a long time as far as, uh, you know, reflecting your heat and everything else. But, you know, quite frankly, I've always, like I said, been kind of a skeptic of it. I mean, it claims that it um, reflects 80% of your body heat. Well, is what I did last night was I took this. And now, going back, I wish I would have gotten it on video. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll do another one on it. But I took this out and slept outside. And um, the temperatures got down to about, oh, I want to say about 40, 42, 43, something like that. Not extremely cold, but cold enough, okay? And I slept in nothing but a, a base layer and, um, and a, a hooded sweatshirt inside of this just to kind of see what would happen. And, uh, I was very shocked. I mean, it actually, I stayed warm. I mean, the moment I crawled into it, I could feel my body heat radiating off of this thing, and it just felt like I was in a little bitty, little bitty oven. I mean, it was really strange. I mean, when you touched it with your bare skin, I mean, it was cold to the touch. But when you're just laying there, kind of curled up and everything else, I mean, you can really feel your heat radiating in this thing. And... I just expected at some point to wake up and be cold, but, it, you know, it never happened. And uh, I just thought that was pretty pretty impressive. But um, let me open this thing up and show you a, a little bit of a better look at it. You know, my next concern with this thing was the fact that uh, I just was curious how long it was, you know. I'm not super tall by any means. I'm only 5'11", but I mean, that's still, you know, tall enough that um, causes me some issues at times when it comes to, like, wool blankets and everything else. So, let's see what we got here. I was very, very surprised. Feet are all the way down. For the sake of ease, I'm not going to zip it at the moment. And as you can see, it comes definitely all the way up to my head. Not a problem at all. And as far as the, uh, the drawstring goes, when I draw it shut, which I did not do last night. I mean, as you can see, I mean, it draws up around my head, no problem at all. And it's funny, just, be, just being in this thing for just a few seconds, I mean, I'm starting to get very hot. I mean, the heat just completely bounces off and around this thing. I plan on pushing the boundaries of this thing as it gets colder and colder. I want to see what this thing can do and what it's capable of. I know that these things are not meant for a um, to use over and over and over and over again. That it's more of a uh, last-ditch effort. But I want to know. 
I have to buy multiples of these things, then so be it. But like I said, I definitely want to know what this thing is capable of. So if you guys have any experience with one of these, you know, let me know. Because I'm curious as to what your experiences are. Has one of these actually saved your life? Um, what's the coldest, you know, you've, you've had to lay in one of these? Um, what's the rain like? I mean, it says that it's water repellent, but these are all things I just don't know. But definitely would like to know. So like I said, if you guys have any experience with these, you know, please contact me and let me know because, I mean, that's how we all learn. You know, we find something like this, we put it out there, we all kind of learn from each other on it. Packing this thing up is very easy. First, I kind of wondered if we were going to get it back into that little bitty sack, but it folds up very easy. first impression of this thing is it's, it's very, very cool. I mean, works way better than what I thought it was going to. And you know, the size of it and everything else, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm thinking to myself, get a couple of these, throw them in all the vehicles and everything else. And you know, for those uh, extreme cold days when you're camping and everything else, who's to say that you can't buy one of these, put them on the inside of your sleeping bag or you know, on the inside of your uh, wool blanket and everything else just to give you a little bit of uh, extra warmth. So, anyway guys, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, have you tried them? Uh, how cold was it when you tried it? Was it raining? All that good stuff. I'm curious. I want to know. So, as always, have a good one.